I'm on my way to meet a single mum, Ebony, whose eye for a bargain is out of control. And they still got the, the labels on them. I don't even remember half the wigs I've got, I have to say. Ebony lives in Surrey with her sons River and Chance. How come you got all that blonde in your hair? I dyed it, Ginger. I think it looks pretty swag if you ask me. Oh, please, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, shut up. up. Their mum doesn't spend a lot of money, but boy, does she buy a lot of things. Whoa. <laughs> wow. How hey. many pairs of shoes do you think you've got? Um. Possibly a thousand now. <gasps> a thousand pairs awesome. of shoes. But have um, you worn all of them? They will be worn. They will be worn. <laughs> I don't actually go out to buy shoes. I will be out and then all of a sudden I see a bargain. So are you saying that a thousand pairs of shoes happened by accident? Totally. None of these shoes were planned. Mm. Does it not worry you? I think it's been more than 20 pounds, if anything in any of these shoes, I'm saving. OK, prime example. These boots down here, I got three pairs for a tenner. They were such a good bargain. I actually bought nine pairs of shoes. Nine <laughs> pairs? I did. It was amazing. I can't even express how fantastic it felt that day. It's like an escape from your day's work or, you know. And financially, you're OK with buying all of that stuff? Yeah, because eventually I um, pay off the debt. So do you buy on so credit cards? I do. How yeah. much debt have you got? I've got about six grand. OK. But <laughs> if I paid the full price out of £1,000, pounds, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. It would be, but it's already ridiculous. As I said, I don't plan to go out shopping, but I don't like shopping, but shopping likes me. I that see. <laughs> it says, come to me. Come to me. Secret storage compartment. Really? You are kidding me. Are you actually joking? <laughs> like, how do you find anything? ta -da! Just a couple of scarves and hats. <laughs> It obviously makes you feel good having all these things to, to hug in your bed. Oh, there you go. There's a missing void. Yeah? They're replacing my man. I don't have one. And I'm sure this will give me more joy. <laughs> if I'm honest, I find Ebony a bit frustrating. It's hard to know when she's being serious or not. She doesn't see herself as a shopping addict because she doesn't even like shopping. Shopping likes her. Ebony hides the problem from herself by cramming bargains into every nook and cranny, including a locked room I'm not yet allowed to look in. I'm going to see Ebony today and I'd like to get to the bottom of what is going on because it's all fun, it's all a game, but I think that's a veneer. I'm hoping she'll let me see what she stores in her secret room and open up enough for me to understand why she's filling her house with so much stuff. Hi, Hi. Uh, how are you? Oh, I've actually got some really good bargains, actually. Yeah, definitely. What kind of things? Electric blankets. Electric blankets? How many did you get? Uh, five. And a few other little bits and pieces. Oh, go on, tell me, what else? I've got two jackets, three clocks, and a pair of shoes. But my foot was hurting me, so I had to go and buy a pair. I've got this really nice bra knicker set. A, a CD. <laughs> Three of those donuts, three croissants. Oh, and now I see why. So you've got three packets of each? Yeah. Because they were reduced? Absolutely. I only went out for tortillas and some mayonnaise. <laughs> what happens then? You go out to buy tortilla and you come back with so much other stuff. I don't know. I didn't even want to stop. But if I don't spoil myself, no one's going to spoil me, so I might as well do it. So, when you buy things for yourself, what are you doing there? Oh, what am I doing? I'm making myself feel happy for a little while. 
Why don't you show me where you're keeping your stuff? You seem like you really don't want to go. I really don't want to go into this room because it's a complete mess. I really don't want to go. So you actually keep your living room locked? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you store quite a lot of stuff in here. No, no, I'm supposed to be decorating. I'll try and find someone to help me decorate. And um, you're planning to decorate. Well, I bought three sets of wallpaper. I'm not quite sure which one to put where. <laughs> You've just bought three sets of wallpaper yeah, without but... knowing where they're going to go. Yeah, but there was only two pound fifty each. Okay. I just wonder if sometimes you get swept up with an idea and you buy all the stuff to go with it, like the wallpaper and the paint because it's on a discount, and then whatever it is you're planning to do with it doesn't materialise. This is the wrong way around. I see the bargains, I'll buy the bargains, and when I bring them here I think, what can I do with it? And then I'll do something with it. Right. The other way around. So it's completely it's... driven by the you seeing a bargain yeah. and you think, I've I've bought it now, I've got to make use of it. Yeah. What about all this lot? And some of my tools. Is it me? they just as good as shoes. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, this is new. Do -do -do. What is it? It's an angle grinder. Do you have much use for an angle grinder? Yep, yeah, I will be. Be using it very soon. I see more toolboxes, more... Yeah, more tools. It's just dawning on me the size of what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis when you're going out and you're tempted to buy something. It's not just one type of thing. No. There's another toolbox down now. And does it matter if you use them or not? Or if you need them or not? I always use tools, eventually. It's a really sad situation, actually. I was totally not prepared for that. I thought she's a girl who likes shoes, she likes jackets, she likes clothes. Straightforward. But she's got these projects that are on the go, but they're not really ever getting started. What's in there, then? Um, some more tools. And now, seeing everything makes me realise this is much bigger than I realised in the beginning. And definitely a much bigger issue than she realises herself at the moment. From kitchen blenders to garden tools, Ebony gets her bars from bargains. Going out for one thing and returning with multiples of anything on offer. I bought three of these teddy bears and I bought four of these little mini ones. But she's cluttering up her house and her life with stuff she doesn't need and can barely afford. So I've asked her to write a shopping list and stick to it. OK, everything that I need from one shop, I do it and I have to visualise the shops. So, uh, dog food. But despite best intentions... Right, just one second. <laughs> ..it seems she soon falls back into old ways. Let me show you what I bought. Nine pound team, and what did Ebony find it for? Do do 50p. And yes, I did buy more than one. Do do 50p. I'm sorry, but there's just no way I am going to walk past them. When I caught up with Ebony two weeks later, I quickly realised she'd fallen off the wagon big time. That's new. Really? Yeah. 40 inch flat screen TVs and tablets don't come cheap. Bought a couple of those. I urgently needed a filing cabinet. Right, so you've got two of these. So I ended up with two of these. And one, and one of these. Yeah. So that's new as well. This is new. <laughs> I'm not sure the shopping list idea helped at all. So, Ebony. Given everything you've just showed me, all the shopping that you've done, have you got a shopping problem? Oh, my God, that's a hard question. I'm only looking for a one-word answer. 
I don't think I have. No. And even with all the discussions and being aware of everything you're buying, all of that hasn't altered the way you look at your shopping? Not really. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm still doing the same shopping. I'm not not doing the shopping. I'm still... It hasn't got me to a stage where I'm so guilty that I'm actually stopping. The whole point of having a shopping list yeah. is not to make you feel guilty if you buy something that's off the list. It's just to, to see if you yourself can remain focused and aware of yeah. what you are going out to buy yeah. and how easy it is for you to get led astray and come back having spent 200 quid on a new TV. It's not about going and spending, you know, a couple of quid on stain but remover for the, no, for the kids' see, shirts. I don't, see, I think you're wrong. Because at the end of the day, if the whole exercise is that I'm supposed to stick to the mm. list, then it doesn't matter whether it's a spray no, or a TV. No, but you've just proved that yeah, you'll but find it really it. difficult to stick to the list, whether it's a spray or whether it's a TV well, no, or whether it's I, I've whatever. Done, I've done it. I've gone out with the list. Does it give me a buzz? No, because I've just gone in there, I've got what I have to do, and then I've got to go to work. Then I've got to come back, do all the... So there's nothing exciting in my life. I'm not going out partying. I haven't got a partner. Please, tell me where is my little bit of escape. Okay. So was that shopping list exercise pointless in your opinion? Yeah, a little bit. You could say, if Ebony doesn't have a problem with her shopping, who am I to argue? But it's not just Ebony that her compulsive shopping affects. Knock, knock, guys. You right? How's it going? Not too bad, sir. Can I sit down? Yeah. So... Tell me, what do you two think about your mum's shopping? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, too much. She shops so much. What do you think, River? Oh, yeah, it's just, like, crazy. She always, like, goes out and just, like, buys random stuff that she never uses. She just knows she doesn't have the money for it, and if she's not going to use it, what's the point of buying it? It's weird not being able to go to certain places of my own house because there's too many stuff in there. What would change if you were able to get the living room, um sorted and cleared just the fact that we'd have an actual house instead of a giant like storage <laughs> city i'm determined not to give up on ebony today i'm here to help ebony do some clearing she's overwhelmed by all the different projects that need doing by the decorating by the clutter by the garden and so she goes out and when she goes out she ends up shopping and bringing more stuff back to the house. And I think that for a lot of people, and Ebony being one of them, the state of your home quite often reflects the state of your mind. And so I think clearing the decks and making some space will be also really important mentally for her. I persuaded Ebony to recycle some of her clutter including some of the many things she's bought and never used. Oh, well, we've got our work cut out for us today, haven't yes, we? Yes, we do. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah, I'm too happy. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it down. <laughs> Don't hold it down. <laughs> what do you want to start with? Don't I'll mind, let's, let's, let's just go for it. I don't know, just throw it all away. First piece to go, yes! <laughs> Happy? I'm so happy right now, I can't stop laughing. See, boys, doesn't this feel much better? Is it nice to have the kids helping? Oh, uh, yeah, but you know, they're only willing because you're here. Are you serious? <laughs> I swear. Chance, is it true your mum said that if I wasn't here, you wouldn't be helping? Yeah. Told you. <laughs> Why wouldn't you help? I'll get paid for this. No, you don't get paid for it. <laughs> wow. I think we might need another skip. I know, and we haven't even gone to the shed yet. We haven't even touched the shed. We've hardly even scratched the surface of the garden. Ebony has put off clearing her shed for several years. I know I've got quite a few baby stuff in there. How long have they been in there since they were babies? No, it wasn't for them, you know, because I'd miscarried um, oh. a couple of them. Um, you know, I started getting the stuff, because you get all excited, once three months is up. This is quite a few years back now, a couple of years back, a few years. So I haven't 
been in there since I put all the girls' clothes in. And I've just bunged them at the back there, and I know there's a cot in there, and baby walkers. And, so there's a lot of baby stuff in there, so it's got to go. I didn't realise that Ebony had had a miscarriage, so going through the shed where she's kept all of the baby stuff is going to be really hard as well. And so you know, it's kind of understandable that she's put it off. And actually going shopping is one way of filling her time and just avoiding doing all these things that are a bit overwhelming, A, to do it on your own, and B, to go back and relive those painful memories. Right, let's get the cot out. At least let's get the cot out. that you are able to what just can carry I do? on. No, I know, <laughs> and it's amazing. Okay. Just carry on. Oh, it's still all right. Yeah. Can't do it. I thought I'd be able to just, you know, just... I think I'm going to have to keep that one. Mm. Yeah. You, my <laughs> darling, it. you have got an absolute heart of gold and you're keeping everything going for everybody else. You should be really proud of yourself. I hope Ebony can see the positives of what she's achieved today. That is nuts, isn't it? Oh my gosh. It's like a big brick has been taken off my shoulder. It's, it's really liberating, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Not to have all that stuff hanging around your yeah, neck. Just, yeah, just throw it. Oh, it's But when you look so... at it, do you also partly think, what a waste, because that's all stuff that I've bought? Yeah, it is a waste, but I'm not in a rush to do it again, so. Are you not? No. So it's uh... been a really good exercise in that way. This? has been a good exercise. I don't know about the shopping list, but this is definitely a good exercise. Have you also learnt that there are much greater pleasures in life than of the course. buzz of going shopping? Of course, there is. Of course. So today it totally beats the buzz of shopping. Totally. Absolutely, 100%. One day can't change a lifetime of habits, but one day can inspire somebody. You know, for Ebony, today has been way better than any shopping trip. I'm not sure she'll ever resist the lure of a spur of the moment bargain altogether, but at least she knows there are bigger buzzes out there. <laughs> <laughs>